Ladies and gentlemen, do you guys want to see a magic trick? It, it will probably make you hate me. I don't have eyeballs. I just got rid of them. I just, I don't, yeah, they're, no, no, no more eyeballs. All right, so we're going to try to freak people out, and we're going to scare them, and I'm going to show them that I don't have eyeballs. Right now, I have a blue unspeakable head on, but I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to be like, uh, I forgot my eyeballs at home. All right, here we go. I'm going to take it off. There we go. Uh, I forgot my eyeballs. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh. here we go. Let's see. Let's see if people notice. I'm waiting for people to run over. I hate when that happens. I oh, know. <laughs> unspeakable. The unseeable. Yes. Where are my eyes? Ah, no. <laughs> I'm just trying to mess with people. I thought it would be funny. Unspeakable, I love your eyes. Oh, thanks, dude. Because I totally have those on right now. <laughs> Yo, this one person's like, I got your eyes. Give uh -oh. me my eyes. <laughs> it's not working very well. It's not working very well. Okay, so I'm going to throw back on my eyes. Okay, so I can turn on my hat. And now I should. Yeah, I have eyeballs on now. So now to the actual factions episode, guys. Welcome back to factions. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, we're going to be merging bases with the second or I guess because I would say we're the most powerful on the server. I think I think. All right. Some, some, yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe. they're pretty good. I mean, they're they're beating us in supplies at least. Yeah, yeah. So but we have you, so it kind of evens out. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we're 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 merging with another faction that's very powerful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into their base and we're going to take all their stuff, and we are going to put it into our base, and they're gonna join our faction. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting time. Oh, so you guys probably remember this from the last episode. Let me turn on my fly. There we go. So we do have fly because we're their allies, so I can fly like in their territory or whatever. Um, but we're gonna take all their spawners. We're gonna take everything, and we're gonna merge bases basically. Um, and this is going to be a slow process. Probably this episode, we're probably just gonna take their spawners and some simple supplies. Um, but it is gonna be a slow process. But over time, eventually, this base will probably be gone, and we'll make an even bigger base or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So we're gonna take make all sure you these touch. spawners. I do have a silk touch for sure. Jeez, there's right. so many blazes in here. Uh, can we get some light in here? Maybe like some glowstone blocks or something? All right, we're placing some glowstone blocks uh, so we can actually see a little bit better. I'm going to start mining these bad boys, I guess, right now. Here we go. Hopefully, I get every single spawner. I do have a silk touch pickaxe, so we should be able to get every one of them without a problemo. Woo! Ooh, does everyone know the greatest feeling of going into a base and just mining all their spawners? It's like the coolest feeling ever. But then again, they are joining our faction. So technically, you know, it's like we're getting married. You know, what's theirs is mine or yeah, something like that. <laughs> let's just hope we don't get a divorce. Yeah, let's just hope we don't get a divorce because I'm not getting anything back. You know, that's not, not, not going to happen. <laughs> it's ours now. <laughs> it's ours. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have so many spawners, though. This is going to be insane. Are you taking that other side over there? Yeah, you're taking that yeah, other chunk. Yeah. Okay, sweet. There's so many blazes in here. We're gonna have to kill some of the blazes just in case. Just to make sure we didn't drop any spawners. Now I got 35. 35 blaze spawners. We got our last row right here. Now, keep in mind, there's four of these. Four, yeah, four of these. Th four of these, and that's just the blazes. So that's oh my 80 gosh. per, and then there's four of them. So that's 320 blaze spawners on this. Oh, this is a long and tedious process, but I'm enjoying every second of it. It's like, it's like, it's just so satisfying. I don't know why. I should have 50. I think I lost one. Oh, no. This is no good. Oh, uh, no. Uh -oh. No. Oh, no, I have 50. I got it. I got it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was getting nervous for a second. It's like moving out of a house. It's like you decorated so many things. You painted all the walls, and then you just like, bye. So far, I have two stacks. You should have... Two stacks and one spawner. Unless we yeah, miss some. You do? Okay, perfect. Okay, so we didn't miss any. Perfect. Are these the villager? Oh, these are the villager spawners. Okay, don't you dare drop any single one of these. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, aren't these like... How much are these worth again? I forgot. 7.5 million. 7.5 million dollars. Just one. And they have Just four. One. one of them fell Ugh. into the hoppers. Ugh. <laughs> one of them fell into the hoppers. Oh my god. You dropped it one? The you dropped the It's fine. How did you manage to. Dude, you're gonna have to go through so many. Oh. 
I'm, I'm just a I'm professional. You better seven point five million dollars. You're you're seven point five million dollars in debt right now. Okay. Literally you're, down the drain. Yeah. Literally down the drain. You are you're you're a dead man. All right. I'm gonna it's go. Fine. Get some... I got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I found okay. it. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> this one is Enderman. Oh snap! How much are the Enderman spawners? I don't think I've ever ever, ever looked at the Enderman spawners. Enderman spawners either. are five hundred thousand per spawner. Um, do they have zombie pigment spawners too? No, they don't. But they do have iron golem ones. Yeah. Iron golem ones are 2.5 million. But then again, iron golem ones are OP. Okay, I'm going to go grab the iron golem ones. I think they're this one. It's the red one, right? No. Yeah, the red one. No, it is. It is. It is. Yeah, this one is this one's iron golem. I'm going to go grab the iron golems. Uh, You grab the other ones. Oh, my gosh. They have so many. Oh, my gosh. They have so many iron. Yo, that's like... 50 million dollars in iron golem spawners. <laughs> yeah, they've bought a oh. lot of stuff. How? How do they get this far? Like, I don't understand. I don't oh, know. I, oh, I, I hear them all clicking in my inventory. So I'm, it's, it's so satisfying. It's like every single one of these that I destroy is like a new iPhone that I pick up. It's just like, oh, oh. <laughs> Every single one is just like, oh, yes, 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 yes. I mean, these guys are going to merge with us, and we're going to have an extremely nice factions base now. Like, I can't even imagine, like, just like, oh. And you guys can do this, too. You know, it's not like, you know, if you guys make friends, if you guys slowly start to make friends, because these guys were our allies. That's how we merged with them. Um, But, like, if you have allies, and then eventually, like, let's say you have an ally, but you both have separate bases. And if you become really good friends with those allies, you build up a really good trust then go ahead and merge bases with them like we're doing. You know, um, destroy one of the bases, take all the spawners out of one base, and just merge into one huge base. I have 31 Iron Golem spawners. How many do you have? Nine, you said? I have 10 now, actually. You have 10. Okay, so they had like 41, unless we're missing some. I don't think we are. I think that's about I right. I don't either. There's a ton of Iron Golems that just spawned Yeah, that's 102.5 million. Actually, we still have the hoppers to take. If you want. Oh, they can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm we'll gonna... leave the hoppers for them. <laughs> we'll leave that. That's savage, though. Oh my gosh. We'll come back. We'll come back and get. Oh, that's a lot of hoppers. Oh, I don't know about that. That's a lot of. Ooh, ooh, no. They they can take the hoppers. We did we did some helping. We did we did the best part. We did the most important part of the move. You know, we were the moving truck. And they're just like... We actually like, still have a few more spawners we can take. What kind? Blaze. All right, so we have actually entered their old base because they're completely moving. Um, this is not the same base. This is a completely different base. So I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. So we do have Orion over here getting the beautiful... Oh, he's getting the rest of the Blaze spawners. Um, and then... This is very nice. So it's basically like they had the same similar concepts that they had before. But they just merged into a bigger and nicer area. And I believe this one is also against a wall too. Yeah. This is nice though. Even this base is nice. I swear, these guys are definitely more powerful than us. There's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think so. 100, oh, 100%. Like, oh, I, oh I, thought, I thought I was about to fall into the lava, but there's glass right there. <laughs> I was about to be like, no, what? What if I lose everything? <laughs> How bad would that be if I lost all those? Oh my God. Something cool I want to show you. So since custom enchants are out, you Something won't ever cool have that issue to show again. Me. Um, take that and apply it to piece of armor that you have on. Piece Hold of right armor. Clicker. Hold it and right click. I forgot how to do this. Okay, yeah, right click put it this. Into your hand and, then... and then you click to enchant. I'll do the chest plate. Okay. And Molten now you core never have one. To worry about lava again because it's fire resistance. Molten core. Okay. So that's a custom enchant that we do have on the server. We have a lot of them. I did do um in the beginning of one of the episodes I did do where we pretty much showcase mo or showcase all of the custom enchants but yeah that's one of the custom enchants molten core so now I don't have to worry about actually falling in lava so yep, all good now all right so now we are in our base now I know it looks very very similar because we did kind of copy their style you know because it was it was cool I liked it so um so these we have one two three four sides for different blaze spawners um, and now we're going to place them all because none of these have blaze spawners in them. I don't think. Do they? I don't think so. No, they don't. Yeah, because I don't hear anything. So we're going to place all the blaze spawners now. And let's get cooking on this. Oh, the beauty of the process. There we go. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just insane. Like, it's just crazy that we're merging with this fraction and it's just like all this stuff is coming together. It's like, it's like Bill Gates and Apple just like, wait, that's the same people. Wait, no, 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 that Bill Gates and, Bill Gates and Steve yeah, Jobs, my, my bad. <laughs> I meant Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, so Apple and Microsoft are just coming together and just like, yes, yes, let's combine companies and make the massive takeover. Well, that's one done. We're going to let those guys sit and get used to their brand new home. Now it's time to do three more. All right. So I am currently setting all the markings right now for these spawners. Okay. So then we'll do one, two. Should I do three or four down? We did four on the other one. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we four. did four on the one, other two, one. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now I am setting all these spawners. I decided to do obsidian. The other ones, the markings had like a uh, netherrack, but I wanted to do obsidian because I had a, I have a lot of obsidian in my inventory um, because every day I pretty much come on the server and I get like a kit. Or well, not every day, but whenever I get on the server, I redeem my kit. Everything is looking so fancy and I'm proud of myself. Not really. I'm proud of all the other faction members because they got all these blazes for us. There's a blaze spawner there or there's blaze spawners over there. They're all basically what I'm trying to say is they're all complete. There's blazes blazes all the lag blazes and blazes so now we're gonna go up a full floor and we're gonna mess with the iron golems and the villagers and all that good stuff oh wow you guys revamped this like crazy yeah oh I tried my to copy gosh the old, uh, the old spawn point so our chests are gonna be here look you can already see some of them already here guys um, but if we go around, there's chests here. I don't think ever does every single one. Of, yeah, every single one of these have chests. This is nice. I mean, this is just a work in progress. You know, we're gonna build like pathways and stuff. We're gonna do all that, make it look really fancy. But this is really, really nice. We probably won't get into this this episode because look how many hoppers we have to place hoppers that cover this whole entire area. That's gonna take probably the the whole time of what this episode already is. <laughs> Just yeah. placing hoppers. There's so much. The creeper spawners that I have have been placed. There's only four of them that I have in my inventory. I'm pretty sure you have more, right? Yes, but, I do. Um yeah, so they, they they will actually drop their stuff though, so we can just kind of run in here. Because we don't have the hoppers set up yet. So we need to set up all the hoppers. Um then we'll be good. Because we're still working on all this stuff. Um are you working on the Enderman? Do you want to get the Enderman going now? Uh yeah, we can. Okay, let's do Enderman. Go ahead and place them. Woo! It's like, oh my gosh. It's like buying a new car. Just, It's just that feeling. It's just like, oh, yes, yes. You're placing all of these beautiful things. But yeah, we're not going to have enough spawners to fill up all of these. Um, because, you know, we obviously made this for future expansion too. Because I would assume that this faction is going to expand pretty quickly. Um, but we're probably not even going to fill up half of these. Not even probably one-fourth of these with the Enderman spawners. Probably not even one-eighth of these. <laughs> but we yeah. have a lot of room for expansion, which is good. So, there we go. There's our Enderman spawners. This is where the villagers rest. The villagers. Look how many slots we have for these villager spawners. If we were to fill up all these slots, I wonder how much that would be. Hang on. Let me do some math here. Let's say we do... 4 times 17, that's if we just do one stack, that's 68. But let's say we do, what, three spawners stacked on top of each other, or four? We can do three. We can do three. So let's do 68. So one row is 68, and then times three, 68 times three, that's 204. So now let's do 7 million. 7.5 million. 7.5 million times 204. That's 1.5 billion dollars just in villager spawners if we were to fill up the just this whole entire area with villager spawners that's three kind of rows that's 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 a lot <laughs> 1.5 billion dollars just in villager spawners these guys are op though look we just spawned them in i mean we already got diamonds and emeralds just dropping like crazy villager spawners are insanely op that's why they cost so much to obtain but i mean once you build your way up to them and once you get them, it's just all about the momentum. You just gotta build up the momentum and you just gotta keep going. All right, so I have 64 and nine blaze spawners left. I also have 31 iron golem spawners. We're gonna keep the iron golem spawners for now because we wanna set up the hoppers first for the iron golems because it's really messy because it goes into like another room. So we just don't want iron golems everywhere, especially since we have a ton of iron golem spawners because I have 31. How, many, how much do you have? Pretty sure you have. I only have 10 on me. Oh, you only have 10. Okay, well, that's still a ton of iron golems just roaming around this room because we want to enclose them and we want to make sure they don't get everywhere. And then leftover, we have 64, 9, and I'm pretty sure you have, what, two and, two and a half stacks? 
of blaze yeah, spawners two still. And a half stack of blaze. Two and a half stacks of blaze spawners. So we still got that. So we can easily expand our blaze farms when we need to. Um, but for now, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. That's pretty much gonna do it for the process of moving. Now, over the next week or so. Um, there's going to be a lot of work going into the faction base. There's going to be a lot of stuff like building all the hoppers, designing the base. You know, you, you guys saw the chest room, how it wasn't complete, moving all the members over. It's going to be a long process, but indeed, I will give you guys updates throughout the episodes. Okay, so we are adding all the faction members right now that were in the old faction. Now they're moving over to the Dill Pickle. Dill Pickle. Oh, look, someone is joining, someone a part of their faction, their name is a Big Pickle. A perfect home, a perfect home for that big pickle. He is now in the dill pickle, dill pickle faction. Let's get it. Look, oh my gosh, there's a one million dollar bounty on you, and then there is two hundred and thirty thousand dollar bounty on me, and then we got some other people. We got a big pe a big pickle. Most of these guys are probably members of our faction that have bounties on them too. So that's crazy. But guys, if you want to set bounties, basically what happens is. You can set a bounty on someone, and then if you kill them, you I think it's like you get your money back, and you also get their head or something like that. Yeah. Um, if I'm correct. Yeah. What so you do is cool. you take their head, and then you go redeem it at spawn. Yeah. So what you do is, yeah, so you, you can set the bounty. You can kind of bid on the bounty, and then if you kill me and you get your head, you can come to spawn, and you can get that $230,000. There we go. So pretty much everyone is now a part of the faction. Everyone is now a part of the faction. Everyone is here. Everyone is home. Everyone is in the faction. Now we have to just complete the long process of moving all the hoppers over and all the other stuff. But the hoppers yep. are going to be the most tedious. <laughs> Quick shout out to Xire, Pickle, Pie Man, and Messaging for helping out in building this thing. It's monster yeah, of a base. shout out to those guys. They have built, they have helped build, build our base, right? Did they help yeah, build they our built base? This. Yeah, yeah, they built most of the spawners pretty much. Um, so they're really helping a lot, you know. I mean, they are part of our faction, but you know, shout out to those guys. So thank you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Factions. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you did, feel free to slap the like button. If you guys want to come play factions with me on my server, there's an IP in the description right now stores at the top of the description you can't miss it it's mc.rkwars.net you guys know that come on look at this guy I'm trying to trying to stone troll on my server you think you can you think you can stone troll on my server huh but guys thank you all so much for watching again if you guys did enjoy be sure to slap the like button also check out the playlist in the description i have a playlist to all the other factions episodes just in case you guys have missed them but anyways guys that is going to do it have a safe and fantastic rest of your day and we'll catch you guys in the next factions episode where we even get more OP.